Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at an awesome little operating system that just popped up on my radar for the Raspberry Pi, known as Apple Pie OS. And as the name suggests, this is very Mac OS-like, and it actually performs really good. Now, this operating system is based on Ubuntu Budgie, and I've had really good luck with Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4. This has been pretty stable for the last few days. The developer's still doing work on it, working out some bugs and things like that. But this is looking really, really promising, and it's totally usable in the state it's in right now. And I'm on version 1.2. And speaking of the developer... This comes to us from Raspberry Pi Projects and more over on YouTube. You can get the download link from his video. I'll leave a link to his channel and the video here, Apple Pie OS version 1.2. And in order to install this, all you really need to do is flash to an SD card. You can use Raspberry Pi Imager or you can just use Etcher. It's really up to you. There is a password. Username is Ubuntu. Password is Apple Pie OS. So obviously this takes a lot of cues from Mac OS. We have this little animated app bar down here, which is something I personally really like. And I am a big fan of the Mac OS interface. Up in the top left-hand corner, we can reach our accessories, games, graphics, internet. We have Firefox and Chromium. Unfortunately, since this is based on Ubuntu and not Debian, we can install the media edition of Chromium, which will allow us to watch Netflix videos and things like that. But I personally can get by without it. Uh, full LibreOffice suite built in. We have other here, iBus preferences, science, LibreOffice math, sound and video. It's got Kodi pre-installed and under system tools, he's added a couple little things here, which I personally appreciate. First one being PyKiss. This is an application that allows you to easily install different things. You can do some tweaks like overclocking your Pi from here, install some games like Diablo, Diablo 2. We even have Quake in here, Open Bore and emulation. So if you do want to go through here and install, let's say PPSSPP, you can do it from this menu. And I'm actually glad he added this. Uh, it's easy enough to add yourself, but it's good that it's here already out of the box. So along with the applications that are pre-installed here, we do have the Snap Store since we're running Ubuntu Budgie, and we also have the Software Store for Ubuntu. Now keep in mind, there might be something listed here that just isn't compatible with ARM, and that's not the developer of the operating system's fault. That's the developer of the app itself's fault. So don't be disappointed if you do see something listed in the store and it's not compatible with your Raspberry Pi. This is an ARM board. A lot of these applications are x86. So up in the top right hand corner, we do have an app switcher. So I do have Chromium running. We can switch them from right there. We also have a little notepad. This comes in really, really handy. You just open it up from here, throw your note in there and it'll stay. It will save after you reset the system. We have another file menu, Ubuntu, Documents, Downloads. This is our main storage right here notifications and over on the very right hand corner we have a calendar and i did see a little music player pop up here oh yeah play some music i don't have any apps that are going to play music i haven't started any of them right now but this can be added to play music directly from this little menu bar so yeah this is actually turning out to be an awesome little custom operating system for the raspberry pi 4 i love this little dock animation and it works really well on the raspberry pi i'm not even overclocked right now if you're interested in checking this out, you can install it very easily using Etcher from a Windows, Mac, or a Linux PC. Or if you want to, you can go with Raspberry Pi Imager. I will leave a link in the description so you can head over to Raspberry Pi Projects and more video here and download it directly from the description. He's got pretty much everything you need to know. And since he's the developer, he's going to know a lot more about this. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit him up on here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I just wanted to bring this to your attention because I thought it was an awesome little operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4. And if you're looking for, let's say, a Mac OS look operating system for the Pi, this is a great choice. But that's it for this one. All links for everything mentioned in this video are in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.